Welcome friends. Today we will discuss on cathode rays and anode rays. Cathode rays. A cathode ray is a beam of electrons that travel from the negatively charged to positively charged end of a vacuum tube. The electrode at the negative end is called a cathode, and the electrode at the positive end is called an anode. Production of cathode rays. In 1897, J. J. Thomson conducted the famous discharge tube experiment by passing electricity at high voltage through a gas at low pressure. A common discharge tube is a long glass tube having two metal plates sealed at its two ends as electrodes. It has a side tube through which air can be pumped out by using a vacuum pump so that experiments can be performed at low pressure. When the pressure of air in the discharge tube is reduced to 0.001 mm of mercury and a high voltage is applied to the electrodes, the emission of light by air stops. But the phenomenon of fluorescence is observed, in which the walls of the discharge tube at the end opposite to the cathode begin to glow with a greenish light. It is now deduced that some invisible rays were formed at the cathode, which on striking the glass tube emitted a green light. They are formed at the cathode, so they are known as cathode rays. Properties of cathode rays 1. Cathode rays travel in straight lines when an object is placed in the path of cathode rays in a discharge tube. A shadow of the object is formed at the end opposite to the cathode. The placement of the shadow proved that these rays follow a straight line. 2. Produce mechanical effects on placing a light paddle in the path of cathode rays in a discharge tube. The blades of the paddle will rotate. This shows that cathode rays are a beam of particles having mass and possessing kinetic energy. Anode rays. An anode ray, also no positive ray or canal ray, is a beam of positive ions that are created by certain types of gas discharge tubes. Production of anode rays. Goldston experimentally proved the existence of positive charge in matter. In his experiments, a perforated cathode was used in a discharge tube along with air at very low pressure of about 0.001 mm of mercury. When a high voltage of about 10,000 volts was applied to this cathode in the discharge tube, a faint red glow was observed behind the perforated cathode. The rays were formed at the anode and when these rays struck the walls of the discharge tube behind the anode, they produce a faint red light. They were known as anode rays or positive rays. Properties of anode rays 1. Anode ray produce mechanical effect A paddle wheel placed and a path starts rotating. Effect of low pressure in the discharge tube. When the gas atoms in the discharge tube are atmospheric pressure, they collide with the electrons, preventing them from reaching the anode. As no electrons reach the anode no current flows through the discharge tube. When the gas pressure is very low there are a few gas atoms in the discharge tube. As such there is no hindrance to the movement of electrons the gas conducts electricity.